I've heard the stories, I've seen the videos, but this time it happened to me. I did a CGC pre-screen and it did not go well. This was a 25 book pre-screen and this is the box I got back. Oh my gosh, what a what a disaster. We'll see what happened. We'll see what books I actually got back and what happened next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. We're going to do a CGC unboxing, and it's going to be awful um, because there's not going to be much to it. Um, before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics, whatnot. You know the drill. Link in the description if you've not yet signed on. Link with my upcoming show. Uh, there's also a link to my eBay store and my um, email. So I did a, which I've done before. And I'm usually, so with CGC, you can do a pre-screen. And it's historically been, you had to have 25 books in an order to do a pre-screen. They've eliminated that, but I still like to do 25 because um, it kind of saves on the shipping. So I had 25 books in a pre-screen. A couple of them are stretches. And it was a 9-6 pre-screen, not a 9-8 pre-screen. I had um, one, two, three... Four, five, five books I thought were good, solid nine eights. I don't know what happened. And the big's the question, is the pre-screen worth it? I still think pre-screening is worth it because I would rather have these books raw with the opportunity to resubmit them um, if I think that they can get at least a nine six rather than get back. I'm, I'm feeling here and I'm not feeling much. Um it's oh my gosh there's there there are not many books that made the the cut here so let's see what books i got back and then we'll break into the books that did not make the cut and we'll we'll go over it but this was this was bad um and i've done pre-screens in the past and i've usually um fared a lot better now oh, we did see one so this was uh, okay avengers 187 i did nine six white pages um this is uh, Kathan and Mordred appearance, Dark Scarlet Witch storyline. Um, this I had gotten in a collection a long time ago. Um, and this one, 186, 186 I actually thought was a, a good 9-8 contender. I, this is a 9-6. Came back a 9-6. That's one. One. I submitted 25. That's one. It's This is not going to be pretty. This is really not. Um... Okay. Okay, this is a big deal. Um, <laughs> this is, what is this? All new Marvel now point. I don't even know where this is on my list. What is this? This is point, just point one. Point one, number one. Uh, I thought it was a nine six. There was a slight bindery issue. And it came back as a nine six white pages. Um, it's the first appearance of Sam Alexander's The New Nova. You really want this in a nine eight. But I would settle. I was going to settle for a 9.6 and I got a 9.6. I don't even know if I'm getting any 9.8s here. That's what's really bad. So we'll take a look at the fair market value of those books. Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer's Supreme. A uh, bunch of first appearances here. I got this for $3 at the New York Comic Con in 2021. Um, and it came back as a 9.6. White Pages. First appearance of Nina the Conjurer, the Mindful One of Kashala. Um, okay. I thought that there were, what was the issue with this? There was some slight blunting. Yeah. On the bottom of the spine there. Nine, six, I thought was fair. That's more of a, um, a, um, is that the, is there just one more? Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Ah, this was one I really wanted. Um, blade number one, this photo variant cover with Wesley Snipes. I thought this was a nine, eight and it came back as a nine, six. And that's it. That's it. That there's, oh God, there, oh God. there's, I don't understand this. So there's two full, 
boxes of raw books. This is, I mean, not even any of them coming back at 9.8. That really upsets me. Um, like I said, I thought that Blade book was a 9.8. Um, so what is what is the, the takeaway here? Um, I got to see uh, how much the, the cost was. So four books getting graded is like a hundred bucks, and then twenty one not getting graded is like two hundred bucks. So I think it cost me. I think I had to pay my LCS four twenty five, but I think that included a different single book submission that worked out much nicer. So let's say, let's call it three hundred fifty um, to get all of these these processed and to get all, only four of them graded. This is two of two. So, um, these were all rejects. And they'll all have the sticker on the front. Usually, so usually there's something that does say reject, but I don't see that on the sticker. Like, I thought this was a 9-8. Um... It says A well. I don't know what that means. Um, Uncanny 191. There is a small... There's like one small tick. There is no way... There's no way this isn't a 9.6. It's ridiculous. Ultimate Fallout. Second print, right? There is a little bit of color rub. I don't know how this doesn't qualify as a nine six. This uh, there's a there was one small dimple on the book that I saw. I don't know how this isn't a nine six. I mean, I'm, I'm this was a stretch, hypno hustler book. Um, this one I can never. I mean, there were, this I had. There are three exceedingly small ticks on this. One, two, three. Even three ticks should be enough for nine six. Um, this I had it in nine eight. I mean, maybe there is some like kind of flaking on the edge. Mask number one. There was a, there was a small thumb crease somewhere. I'm I'm really shocked that these. You know, not all of them. Um, came back and I. You know, I don't see any damage having been done to the books. And, uh, you know, none of them came back at a 9-8. That's preposterous. Absolutely preposterous. I've had, and I've seen much worse 9-6s. And I'll, I'll tell you a story. So if you looked at, um, I got three CGC submissions the same day. And I've done three recent CGC videos. Um, I held this one out to last because I knew it was the worst um, this one. Okay. So I had, where did I put it? I have it here. Infinite Crisis 5. I got this in a 9-6, right? With a different submission that came back the same day. This did not meet the 9-6 criteria. This is in better shape than the slab 9.6. I looked at them, and there's a reason that, yeah, there's there's no way that you could look at these two books. The reason that I put this in, I didn't put this in the 9.6 pre-screen. I didn't think it was a 9.6. It got a 9.6. I thought this was a 9.6. There is a small scratch somewhere, but I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded um, on that. That this, that this wasn't a nine six. We have Flashpoint one, maybe. This FF book, there is a small, like a small tick in his cape. The rest of the book is, I, 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 you know, I went over these meticulously. Right, DC Comics presents ninety six. There's a spine tick on the book. 80, uh, 47, or 49, I'm sorry. 
There is some color rub. Maybe. I mean, if that right there on the bottom spine is your biggest defect, does that hold it from being a 9.6? I don't know. This one... So the 187 came back a 9.6. I thought this was a 9.8. This was in better shape, the 186. I don't know. This They shouldn't take off of that pen mark. Um, Amazing Spider-Mans. Uh, maybe there's a little crunch down there. One tick on this book. One tiny spine tick on this book. And this one had all of two spine ticks. And this one, even especially for its age, I thought was a 9-8 contender. Doesn't even get a 9-6. And I, I just, I'm not, I don't understand it at all. I don't know if, what I missed, if I, I, I couldn't have missed that much on 21 books. And even the four books that came back graded were all 9-6s. No nine eights. Come on. It's just water. Don't worry. I, so I'm upset um, by this, but we all know that that's the game you play. So let's say I'm going to come back. I'm going to take a fair look at the fair market value of the four. Four stinking books that got graded. And I'm really disappointed that the Blade at least didn't get a 9-8. That's stupid. I mean, that was... I mean, let's take a look at this book. Maybe. That this, this isn't a 9-8. Right? I mean... Leave in the comments if you see anything that I'm missing. The only thing. No, I don't even think. Is that color rub or is that just like reflection through the case at the bottom? Even the all black back cover. I guess you could say there's some some color rub on the spine. Okay, I'll I'll accept that. Looks a little, huh. but based on everything else, it shouldn't have gotten a nine six either. So anyway, okay. So those four books that did get graded, I paid under a hundred dollars for the four of them total. They have a fair market value of about three hundred ninety dollars. The saving grace is that Blade book doesn't sell a lot. Go collect list the fair market value at two hundred dollars for nine six. So, if I sold those all for fair market value, got three hundred ninety dollars, I'd basically be covering um, the cost of the grading and the the reject fees, um, and I'd be losing some money based on what I paid for those books. I've done pre screens before, the nine eight pre screens. I've done nine six pre screens. I don't think I've ever had less than 15 books um, get graded. Uh, so, you know, um, I think there is variability in the modern grading. Um, interestingly, one of the books that got graded was from 1979, one from 98, 2012, 2016. You know, do they look at older books more um, with more jaundice than, than others. I don't know. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I'm going to guess that this, the answer is probably just a harsh grader. Um, and we've all seen it. I mean, I saw James from Min Hunter had what a three book, um, out of a 25 book pre-screen, he got three back graded at a 9.8. Um, you know, people that, know what they're doing and have had a track record of success. I've had a small track record of success with pre-screens. Um, so this was just, like I said, it was a complete dumpster fire. Um, will I do pre-screening again? Yes. Will I pre-screen some of these books again? 
Absolutely. Um, I think probably at least half the rejects I'm going to resubmit in a 9.6 pre-screen. Um, would, you know, would you do the same? Uh, am I crazy? I don't think it's going to fare this badly again. Um, and I thought I, I thought I had actually more stretches than I actually did. I only had maybe a couple of books I thought were, were stretches for a 9.6. And even then, okay, so if I think a book is a 9.6 or a, nine, a potential 9.8, does it always come back that way? No. But usually I think two-thirds of the time, a track record is is fairly successful, and the fact of the matter is, um, there's only one book. Yeah, only one book here that I paid really more than fifty dollars for, and that's the Ultimate Fallout Second Print. Um, the other books I either got as part of collections, real cheap. The, the Blade book I paid $48 for. Um, and some of the other ones, 25 3 5 2 48 40 15 $2.50, um, $35. So I, I wasn't paying up. And I inspected these books. I pressed and cleaned these books. Um, and I'm not sure what happened. So am I disappointed? Yes. Am I angry? A little bit. Um, am I confused somewhat, but I think people who submit to CGC and I'm one of them and listen, you can say, I'll never use CGC. It's the terrible. I know that's going to come in the comments. Um, but I've been okay with it, with them in, in, in other cases. And especially for books like this, where there's a premium for nine, eight, um, even a premium for nine, six on a lot of these books, um, against versus what they sell for raw and there's some books i want in my collection at nine eight um just that 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 additional value and uh, quality of the book um is there um variability in the greater you get absolutely absolutely um, th the one thing is this will make it a little bit easier for me to do my next 9.6 pre-screen because I'm going to have a chunk of books that are going to be ready to go. I don't even think I'm going to look through all of them. I don't think any of them are really going to need an additional, any additional work on a clean and press couple of them. I'll probably just pull out of the pile. Um, but I'm going to say out of 21 books, uh, maybe 15 are going to get resubmitted, um, just off the top of my head and looking at my my notes uh, resubmitted in 9.6 pre-screen and we'll hope for better results again I don't think that I overestimated the the value of these the, the condition of these books for the most part a couple of stretches obviously and and I understand that I you know um but man some of these I thought like I said I had one Two, one I did get as a nine six, three, four, five. I had five books that didn't get graded that I as nine eights, and I'm not. I mean, I might miss something occasionally, but I'm not. Um, pie in the sky. Uh, I look at the those, those books, rose colored glasses. You know, I look at books pretty jaundicely, um, and generally make good decisions. And I've got nine sixes and nine eights on books in the past. Um, you know, not always, don't always get the ones, but whatever. Anyway, that is it for this absolute trash heap dumpster fire of a CGC submission. It's my worst ever. I got three back in the same day. This is the third video in the last couple of weeks I'm putting out on CGC submissions. Um, I don't have anything out at CGC right now. Um, I probably have a couple of submissions that I'm going to get together in the coming weeks. This actually came back pretty quick. This came back in just over a month in 9.6 pre-screen. I mean, 
They didn't have to do much in terms of <laughs> encapsulating anything. And they just like, reject, reject, reject. Eh, you know, throw these four nine sixes. Not even a single nine eight. Ah. Ah. That's it for this video. You can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. Better days. <laughs> this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.